I'm at Wordstock. I'm going to continue calling it Wordstock even though it's not technically Wordstock. I don't know where I'm going right now. Um, but it's very exciting. Alright, uh, so we were in line, or we were in line, we were seated to see Tom Hanks, and then we decided that we'd rather see Tommy Orange. So um, there's OPB's State of Wonder is covering, they're there, so um, yes, I'm much more excited about this situation. So super, super, super exciting. I just met a viewer from the internet. Obviously you guys know since I'm posting this on YouTube. Um, but I just met Joe Smith who comments on um, a lot of my videos. Um, and you know, she's just so lovely and I'm so happy. She's so sweet. Ah, it was really, really nice. Um, and also I just ordered food at the dump truck and I got here and it was closed. And while I was standing there, it opened, so I was the first one in line. It's like I'm winning the lottery today or something. So much good greatness. And Tommy Orange was amazing. Surprise. Not surprise. Yeah. <laughs> My hands are so cold. <laughs> Wordstock ended a little bit ago. My phone died though while I was there. So um, I did have one more um, thing that I went to um, and I went with Joe, which was super exciting. Um, it was Lydia was the moderator, uh, Lydia Yuknovich, who I'm a big fan of. And then it was three um, authors, uh, Ling Ma who wrote Severance, um, Lenny Zumas who wrote Red Clocks, and then um, oh, I, I don't remember what her name is, but she wrote uh, like a graphic novel um, or like comic series thing. So I will um, end this here. We're going to Friendsgiving. I've just been frantically trying to make food. Um, and then I'll do like a haul and um, put that at the end of this. So sorry that wasn't a very exciting vlog. Also, it's kind of embarrassing to vlog now. I forgot how to do it or not how to do it because I can physically press a button and hold a phone but um, it is really awkward now because it's been so long since I've done it. Hey guys, I am refilming this because I did something weird in my last one, so <laughs> whatever. Uh, this is like my wrap-up of Wordstock. Um, uh, my battery unfortunately died during it, and I was out of practice uh, from vlogging, so I don't think I got that much footage. I haven't rewatched any of it, so um, I will be doing that later, so sorry if this is repetitive about what I'm going to say or what I said already in my vlog. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I started off the day 
Um, I watched April Bear from OPB interview Tommy Orange and then another native author whose name is escaping me at the moment because I haven't like read any of his stuff but uh, definitely interested in picking it up at this point point. Um, and that was really really great uh, I enjoyed it. they're there a lot and it was really funny they're making lots of jokes about like constipation and stuff like that because you know there's a character who is backed up in the book um, and like the whole it was just it was it was so good um, we went to that instead of seeing Tom Hanks and I'm really pleased that we did because I guess Tom Hanks held a baby or something, but I just don't care that much. I'd rather like watch someone that I have read and enjoyed as opposed to someone just because they're famous. So I'm like, whatever. Um, and then we did see Abby Jacobson, which is really cool. I have not read her book, but <laughs> I really like Broad City. Uh, so that was super exciting. I also um, saw like a little tiny, like 30 minute talk. Um, because I missed Nana Kwame, who wrote uh, Friday Black, because he was talking at the same time as Abby Jacobson. Um, and so it was a kind of like a smaller conversation. And that was really, really great. I wanted to buy a copy of his book, but I think because he had just had like the larger event before that, they sold out of his book. So I couldn't get a copy signed, which was unfortunate. Uh, then I will talk about, <laughs> uh, I went to the book fair for a little bit. Um, I only went to a couple of the panels. I saw mostly just like events and stuff, so that's cool. I really don't need to be buying any books, uh, but I did sign up for um, a subscription to McSweeney's. Uh, the guy at the table like really sold me hardcore. First of all, they do like a really good deal when they do this kind of stuff. And then also, um, Edward Snowden is going to be in the next issue, and the next issue is like all nonfiction, and Edward Snowden's going to be in it, so I was like, Sign me up. Um, and then I also bought this uh, book there too. Um, it's The Boat Builder by T Daniel Gum Gumbiner. Um, and yeah, he was talking about it. And it's like, I guess, you know, guy opioid addiction growing up kind of thing. And so I was sold on that. Um, and let me think. Oh, earlier in the day, I met a viewer. I met Joe Smith. It was like, extremely exciting first of all that has literally never happened to me before and then second of all not only is someone like oh hey mm, YouTube video it's someone that I feel like I count as a friend on the internet so I'm really pleased uh, that she said hi to me especially since I don't know what she looked like or I didn't know what she looked like because <laughs> her picture is not her face uh, so that was really exciting and then um, I was like oh you know da -da 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 let me hang out with you. So we went to um, a panel that was moderated by Lydia Yukonovich and it had um, uh, three authors that had like dystopian, so like fe three female authors with dystopian like kind of vibes to their books. And so I bought two of them. Uh, the f one of the authors is um, or was Lenny Zumas uh, who wrote Red Clocks and I already own a signed copy of that because I got it in my Powell's Indispensable subscription. It's somewhere over here on this bookshelf. Um, and so I got the other two books from the other two authors. Uh, the first one is Severance by Ling Ma. I feel like I have seen people talk about this. Um, and when she was talking, it, I don't know. It was, it's really nice, I think, going to these things uh, and seeing authors maybe that you hadn't really, like, been 100% sold on or, like, that you didn't know about because uh, you get to, like, know them a little bit. And then you're like, oh, yeah, I want to read your book. Uh, so I'm really excited to read um, this one. I guess it's, like, kind of a flu thing wipes out. Um, basically all of the population, so sounds good to me. Um, and then the other author was um, Aminder Dhaliwal, um, and she wrote this uh, comic series, I guess, um, and then now it is a book, and it's called Women World, and it's basically like if all of the men um, didn't exist anymore, like they kind of died out uh, for whatever reasons, and this is super funny. Uh, I was feeling very down if you didn't watch my last video. <laughs> Thank you for all of the comments, by the way, on that video. I really appreciate everyone. Um, I need to go and respond to them. Um, but anyways, I was feeling really, really down, and then especially, like, right after this, because, like, Lenny was talking to one of the people in line about, you know, like, the Attorney General and how, like, unconstitutional, she heard that it was unconstitutional what Trump is doing because, yeah, the Assistant Attorney General is supposed to take over that position. You can't just, like, assign someone. And then I started going off on my tangent, and then I got depressed again. Um, I'm trying to not because I have to leave for work very soon. Um, 
but this really made me feel a lot better. This was super funny. Um, I really recommend this. Um, pretty quick read too. Um, very fun. And then while I was in line, I saw this and I purchased it like an idiot, um, which is Tell Me How It Ends, an essay in 40 questions by um, Valeria Luiselli. Um, I thought this was an Italian author, but because this like to me is the most Italian name I've ever seen in my life, but I guess uh, she is Mexican. And so I didn't really 100% know what it was about. Uh, but now that I do, I'm like, this is really not what I need to be reading right now. Um, I am going to finish it probably today or tomorrow, but it's another big old downer about immigration, basically. So those are all of the things. Oh, shoot. Um, there's a really, really cool organization that I learned about that I didn't bring the thing over here. Uh, but basically it's like, um, uh, traveling library for people that um, don't have fixed addresses so like people that live kind of like on the street and don't have like I feel like to be part of a library you have to have like a fixed address and like you have to have like proof with like mail and stuff so these people aren't um, those people and so this is kind of like a bicycle service that has um, like multiple stops and then they can check books out and then you know give them back or you know pass them on or whatever so I think it's so so cool and exciting and so I wanted to talk about it but of course I don't remember what it's called I'm gonna link it below please check it out um, I feel like they probably accept donations and stuff like that so I'm gonna uh, send them some some cash donations and maybe some book donations because, um, donations, uh, cause I just think that is like an incredibly brilliant idea and, uh, literacy I think should be, you know, inclusive, <laughs> inclusive. And just because someone doesn't have like a fixed address or home, or I guess home is not the right word, but you know, just cause someone doesn't live indoors, I guess, doesn't mean that they don't have the right to reading material. And so yeah, I'm really pumped on it. And I will link the link, I will link, I will link a link below in the description box uh, where all of my information is too. 